Gray whales are a sight to see, and we're fortunate to have them off our coast, feeding in the summer months. Oregon State University scientists have been watching them much more closely than the rest of us. In recent years, using non-invasive techniques like drones to really get to know the 212 gray whales called the Pacific Coast Feeding Group. The population is much smaller than the 16,000 or so that travel farther north to Alaska to feed in the eastern North Pacific. The drone view also helped discover something new. As you can see in this graphic representation, Oregon summer resident gray whales are smaller than their counterparts that travel farther north. The females about three feet shorter, the males a foot and a half. Their skulls and flukes are smaller too. One thought is that this could be a warning sign that this group of whales is unhealthy. They're not getting enough resources. Um, and so they're, they're, they're shrinking in size. But the other leading idea is that this is all about adaptation. The habitat here off the Oregon coast is very different than a habitat that a gray whale feeding in Alaska or, or the Arctic would experience. It's much, much more shallow, rocky, kelp forests. So you could see where a, a different morphology, you know, smaller size, shorter skulls, shorter flukes actually might help them thrive and survive in this habitat. Casey Bierlich is a postdoctoral scholar working with a team out of OSU's Hatfield Marine Science Center in Newport. He says getting to know our small group of gray whales is a thrill and important to understand them and their needs better. I think continuing on that and 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 coming up with strategies to to manage this population different so that they can thrive and and be a healthy population off of our Oregon coast here i think yeah that's that's the goal tim gordon kgw news